For the project we're going to make, we're going to do a way to capture your holidays in an on-the-go manner. The products you will need to create the project are some index cards, stamps and ink pens and things are optional for this, but you will need a stapler, rubber band, some type of envelope making system, any scoreboard, anything that you want to use for an envelope, I'm using the We Are Memory Keepers envelope punch board. You'll need some liquid glue, uh, either a piece of cardstock or a piece of Christmas designer paper, and some stickers and all, again, are optional um, for making this project. Hi there, it's Lisa. Um, I have a little Christmas project that I wanted to do. Um, I know m uh, probably everybody has heard of December Daily and lots of these different kinds of projects where you um, scrapbook about your um, experience around the holidays. I have never done a December Daily or taken any of the classes or anything r around that. Uh, this year I started an art journal back in October um, and with the holidays as the theme and I will probably share that on a video a little bit later on. It's pretty basic. It's my first art journal. Uh, but uh, a few days ago I was listening to um, a webinar, Scrapinar, from uh, Lane Amon and she was talking about some ways to to handle, you know, keeping up with uh, your memories and things from the holidays without being, uh, you know, overwhelming, just to have a kind of a simple system. And she didn't, she gave some general ideas of things that you could do. The day after that I was watching or listening to her um, webinar, I found myself in a situation where I, had some, I was in a doctor's waiting room, I had free time, didn't have my book with me, and I thought how nice it would be if I had something in my purse that I could have written on because I, you know, I could have gotten some of my holiday memories down, some things that I could add to my art journal or that I could do scrapbook pages on. So I think one of the ideas, I'd have to go back and look at my notes, but I think one of the ideas that was mentioned um, in her webinar, either by her or by one of the participants, was to use um, the little cards like you use for Project Life. Um, I don't do the Project Life with the traditional cards either, uh, but it kind of led me to the thought that I could use index cards. So I looked around and I wanted to do this project with stuff that I had. I didn't want to have to go out and buy anything. So I had some 4x6 index cards. And what I did on these cards is just write down uh, some prompts so that when I have a few moments and I want to jot down some thoughts about the holidays, maybe I'm out somewhere and I'm waiting on somebody or uh, like I say, I, I frequently find myself in doctor's waiting rooms with my parents, one thing and another. Um, if I have a, a few moments, just a place to, to put some things down. So I did some, I took my cards and I put some very basic prompts and these were things that I just came to my mind that I could use and these will be on my blog. You could do anything you wanted for prompts. You could get very, very specific um, or you can do things like I wrote signs of the holidays. If I pull this one out, I might look around and where I am and see, you know, what's somebody uh, wearing or what decorations are there that might remind me of the holidays and trigger a memory. And then I can write that memory down. Uh, favorite holiday treats. Um, I did Christmas past and Christmas present for things like decorations. And you can see that I've stamped the cards. I just went and found a couple of really basic stamp sets. This is a really cheap little Christmas stamp set that I've had a long long time ago, for, for a long time, I think from Inca Day Do is where it came from, and I just used a few of the stamps from this to decorate these cards. I'm one of these people who does not like my handwriting, <laughs> and if you could see uh, some of the things that I've written even worse than this, it, I, I'm just not, I, I don't like my handwriting, my husband doesn't like my handwriting, and I don't use it in my albums very often. However, if I write neatly, I might put this in an album. Uh, I could put it in pocket pages, or I could put it certainly in my art journal, or I may take this and then do, you know, some typewritten things from it. But I thought, you know, it would make it more interesting to have a few stamped images with these. I don't know what to stamp for family. Uh, Christmas present, uh, during the, the present time of Christmas, events, we've already been to something musical related, so I put a little music note there. Uh, decorations of what we're doing now. Um, and then this one for gifts, and most of them were stamped, but this one I did a few layers of washi tape, and I'm going to do a little bow around it. You could do this on a card as well. So I'm just going to punch a couple of holes here and take some twine. And so how much you decorate these is, in, is completely optional. 
What we're going to do with these cards, though, is put them in a little holder, a little envelope that you can carry with you in your purse or in your car. Um, maybe you drop off children and pick them up and you're waiting on them. Just something that you can have that you can pull out and make some quick notes and then transfer them later to an album. So all I did was feed my twine through the different holes, tied it in a little bow, and I have a little washi tape package. So it makes this card look really cute, um, and it also would, would look good on a Christmas card. So this is where I could write about uh, gift giving. We, we don't do much in the way of gift giving uh, these days, but there, there's a story behind that too. So there's lots and lots of memories for Christmas, um, and I just happen to have the four by six size <clears throat> index cards, which as I say work really well for those divided page protectors or for lots of different things. In fact, when I, you know, if I have some of these that I don't end up using, especially the Christmas past ones, those may go in with some of my photos to use late to um, scrap later on. Now, the holder that I'm going to make for these is an envelope, so you would need um, a piece of paper. It can, it doesn't have to be 12 by 12. This is actually going to be cut down quite a bit from that, and we need something that's walked off. Here it is. We need a way to make the envelope, and I'm going to use the envelope punch board to do this. You can use any envelope system that you like. Uh, the size that will fit the 4x6 uh, cards is a cut size of 8 and a quarter by 8 and a quarter inches. So I'm going to take this piece of uh, pattern paper. This is some Christmas paper from last year's collection. This is another good thing to do is use up some of your old uh, stash. So this was, I think it was last year's crepe paper uh, collection. You could also do this with cardstock because it's, let's say it's eight and a quarter inches square, so you could even do it with an eight and a half by 11 uh, piece of cardstock. So I'm going to cut this down, and I think the part I want is up here. One of the reasons I like this paper is it had this weird pink color that happened to be the same color as my my um, uh, index cards. So let me go ahead and cut this down and then we'll uh, turn it into an envelope. Okay. All right, here's my paper at eight and a quarter inches square and my envelope punch board from We Are Memory Keepers tells me for a four by six size um, that would be the card size. I want it. I want to go over three and three eighths inches. So I'm going to work on the reverse side of this and go over to three and three eighths. And you only use that mark one time. If you've never used the punch board, you only use that mark one time. You punch a hole, and that's going to be a little cutout. You'll see in a moment for your envelope. And then take your bone folder and press it into the groove that's on the right side of the board. And then you turn the paper counterclockwise. Line up this point with the groove that you just did. Punch, and you know we're ignoring the markings over here. We're done with those, we only use them once. Okay, and keep going counterclockwise, lining up this pointed thing, doing a punch. Going over it with the um, bone folder, not too hard, because we don't want to come through the paper, especially pattern paper. You have to be careful. But this, I chose this pattern paper because it's pretty stiff, pretty heavy duty. All right, now I've done all four corners, and I'm going to fold this in. Okay. I may have gotten a little bit too much. <laughs> because I can see my paper coming through there, but that's okay. I think as heavy as this paper is, it'll hold together. All right, now I just need to decide, oh, there's that pretty pink design that's already on the front. Um, this, which do I want to be the top? I think I want this to be the top because this this to be the top because this has got a little more weight down here on, on it. So what I'm going to do is add some glue here and here. And what I do is use the Tombow adhesive and I'm going to go ahead and put my cards in there. And the reason I'm going to do that is that will help keep me from gluing it too flat so that it will definitely hold my cards. A little bit over here on this side. 
Oh, and I forgot to do, I, was, I should have done this point, um, and we'll do this one and I'll show you um, what, what that's for. It's just uh, punching out this little point here. I can trim that off with scissors. Okay. And I can take these out if I'm worried about glue getting on them. I don't think that's going to be a problem. But now I'll take some clothes pens, hold this together. Okay. And what I mean by what I mean by this corner is I'm just going to punch the corner in this end. And I should have done that before I started to put this together. I could have done this corner as well, but I can take scissors and trim that off. Doesn't really matter. It's going to be covered. Now, once that glue dries, then I will want to add some decoration to it, and I have a couple of stickers. I want to keep my, design, my decoration kind of flat, because this is going to go in my purse, so I don't want it to take up a lot of room. So I've picked out some uh, stickers here. This was part of the collection uh, pack itself, so these will probably be a good match. I think I like this one with the cardinal on it, especially. I may cover up that blue one there. Blue circle. Okay, I have my envelope put together, just a couple of stickers. I'll probably write on this something like uh, Christmas ideas for, or Christmas thoughts for 2013, something like that. I'll put my cards inside. And to keep this closed up, I'm going to use a rubber band. Uh, it's not a very sophisticated way of doing it, but it works, and it'll be really easy to use um, to uh, keep track of in my purse. So I'm just going to take a rubber band that I know fits around this, and my stapler. I'm using my little Tim Holtz uh, tiny attacher stapler. Any stapler would work. Staple over the rubber band, and then, voila, I have a slightly unsophisticated, but a perfectly good envelope and recording system that all I need is to have a pen and pull these out and anytime I'm out somewhere I can just pull out a card and write some thoughts on there and then when I get home I've got something that I can scrap, put in my art journal, or um, even save for a later time or use with Project Life. So that's just an idea for um, scrapbooking your holiday memories. Thanks for joining me today, and please check out my blog for more information.